ouchy. All right, I got a package in. I think I know what it is, but I'm not sure, so I'm not gonna say it, but let's get it open. By the way, you shouldn't spend money when you're not really got a job, but this was important. Aha! That don't matter, but this does. Look at that. I got a bowling ball. I got a bowling ball. Inferno. Yeah. From Brunswick. See, I'm pretty pumped about this because I'm bowling with my mom on Fridays. And I bowled last week. I have a ball that I got in 2002 that was a refurbished ball. And I've been using that, I don't really bowl a lot, but I, I've been using it for the last, whatever that is, 17 years? 16 years? I don't know, whatever it is. And these new balls are, I just need a new ball. Anyway, pretty pumped about that. Look at that, I'm such a health nut. Getting ready for bowling. That will be mixed veggies. Now whether I get wiener stencil on the way home from bowling, I can't tell you that, but. At least I'm trying hard right now. So I found this puppy and it's in real bad shape. It, don't, it won't even move. It's only standing like that because I tried to pick it up. So I guess I'm gonna ride my bike back to my house and see if I can post on Facebook. Stuff like this breaks my heart. And it's really running my ride. Look how skinny he is, or she is. I mean, Drew blood, pretty good. You afraid of roadie? She snapped at roadie. This dog, there's something. I'm gonna go get her some puppy food. I bet this dog spent some nights in the cold. Oh, man, I hate this stuff. About a mile into my ride, I found a dog on a corner of a pretty busy street, just laying there. It was a really young dog. And you could tell something wasn't right with it. I thought it might've got hit, but it didn't. I checked it, and it, but it wouldn't move. It wasn't, it didn't have no energy and it was very skinny. So after trying to find the owner around there real quick, I decided to get the dog, you know, carry him, I put it, I just held him and rode my bike back to my house, which was about, about a mile away. When I brought the dog in, I let the, I let Rody see the dog and that dog snapped at her. And this dog's probably two months old. It's not real big. So I wasn't really too concerned about that, but I thought it was weird because you don't see puppies snap at dogs or people. So it kept happening. So I went and picked the dog up and then it got me twice. And uh, not real deep cuts, but still just bit me. So that was kind of a warning sign. I thought that was kind of weird. So when I, I got the water out and the food out, it went, did nothing with the food at all. Wasn't hungry at all. Huge warning sign there, especially when it's real skinny. And then it drank, the, it drank a whole bunch of water. And then it threw it up. It probably threw up four times total once in my truck. So I was like, man, does this dog have parvo? So I took it to the vet, and sure enough, the, the results came back positive. It did have parvo. So anyway, the 10 minutes while they're doing the test, I thought, you know, if this dog's gonna go out, you know, I'm gonna talk to it and just love it. And it kept putting its head on my, I pet the back, and he, he was real, or she was real weak, but she, you know, lay, rest her head on my arm and was going to sleep finally. So there's about 10 minutes of that and I was just kind of, you know, you just want to let a, anything that's living, you want to give it a good ending. 
So anyway, they came back in and said, yeah, that the dog has parvo. So I, I assumed that it was over. Well, I didn't understand that parvo is not a death sentence. So the vet explained to me all the costs and everything. And I was like, well, I just found this dog. And she goes, well, you're the owner right now. So it was going to be 500 to a thousand dollars. That was the estimation. I go, man, I just, I, I've, I've known this dog for two hours at most. And I posted on Facebook and did all those things you do as a, when you find a dog. And the, the vet said, let me see if I can find, some, find you some help. So sure enough, she called the Amarillo SPCA. I think that's what it is. And the, they took it. They, I, had to sign the, I, had to, I had to release the dog. I'd known it for two hours. Release the dog with a, by signing my name. And then the, the vets were going to take care of it. And uh, then it goes to the Amarillo SB, SPCA. So big shout out to SPCA. I'm, I'm a huge dog lover. Anybody that really knows me, I'm a huge dog lover and I really appreciate them. I will never, anytime they ask for money, I will donate. I'll probably donate tomorrow uh, just because. And to the owners of that dog. All right, I'm firing up the grill. And I usually cook out back, but I'm doing it out front because one of my neighbors, this chick, there's like two chicks that moved in and they had their grill fired up and they're loading a big old cooler full of beer. So I had my buddy coming over and we're going to cook some steaks. And I was like, hey, it couldn't hurt to go out front and drink some beer. Just see what happens. I don't kiss and tell though. Come out of play out. Rudy, you stay. That's what she said. That's what she said. That's what she said. Man, you want a dot? <laughs> I don't know how big mine is. Oh, brown dog, oh, brown dog, what makes you smell so bad? Laying around the knacker's yard, ain't no the scraps they had. Oh, brown dog, oh, brown dog, the fleas are in your hide. You just lay down upon the ground and scratch your mangy side. Oh, brown dog. Oh, 